This video is sponsored by Fotros. Fotros, because weather planning was yesterday. And it's a fire sky. Fotros has sent me a notification about a fire sky for tomorrow morning. For a place I'm waiting ready for quite a long time. And that with a probability of 75% or something like that. I mean, that's good. The thing is just, I had a look at the weather maps then, which I still do to continuously optimize the Fotros algorithm. But to be honest, I can't see a high chance for getting red sky tomorrow. I mean, we have a gap towards the sun, which is good, because that helps us to get red light through before sunrise. But the amount of clouds which we need about for our subject to get illuminated is simply not big enough. So usually, I would not trust these weather maps. What if this cloud here comes a little bit more here or there? But as Photos got some new functions and considers a lot more parameters, it even observes the cloud movement and if new clouds get built, for instance. So I want to give it a try because I think, meanwhile, it got really to a level that it sees maybe a little bit more than I do. So that means now getting up at 2 a.m. tonight, driving one and a half hours to the spot, hiking another one and a half hours up a hill and then hoping that photos was right and I was wrong. So let's go. Oh man, I'm tired. It is amazing. I got up earlier, even I think half past one or so. Yeah, I was not able to sleep anymore. I woke up. But yeah, however, I'm here now and uh, yeah, what I can see when I look up there, you can't see it. I see stars and usually that's not good when you want to photograph the red sky. As I already mentioned, we need them, the clouds, to get them illuminated from the bottom, to get them really fantastically red. I saw a little bit of clouds to the south and the idea is that they move yeah, up to the north here now. Um, I'm just not sure if the wind will be not there for. Yeah, we will see, I'm here now. It's a one and a half hour hike here. And I would say, I'll tag up my fingers crossed for a fantastic photograph. And I have a new jacket, I hope you like it. Yeah, I damaged my old one when I scrambled around in my last outdoor video. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's truly really fantastic, it's cozy and warm. Oh man, it's hot. Yeah, the thing is, there is no plan B or so. It's just really that spot up there. We have one view down there. And as it does, also, it's also quite dry. Uh, the humidity is completely down. So there's not really a chance for getting atmospheric softness, um, which is always good, usually. So you can play with that a little bit, getting the mountains a little bit softer, distance a little bit softer, and so, uh, or fog or so, which covers, um, yeah, lots of distracting elements on the ground, so we don't have all these things. The only thing that could really bring this uh, photograph to something extraordinary is the red sky, actually, here now today. And I maybe mean, get some shrouds here now. Uh, we have still, um, I think, one hour to uh, red sky, so I think it could probably work. I don't think we will get an amazing, uh, yeah, everything, you know, who uh, sky uh, saturated with rats. I don't think so. And I hope to get a little bit of some shrouds there and where so that it adds to the photograph. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm already up here at this hill and I'm already in, uh, yeah, not really in setup, in rough setup. So we have the mountain range back there and as you can see, you can't see anything. Yeah, it's completely dark. And um, yeah, the good, the good news, by the way, is when you look back there, I'm not sure if you can see that the, the, the moon up there, it's already a little bit soft to get already the first clouds in from the right hand side here. And they also don't have all the many um, stars are back there at the mountains. So that's really that's really um, a good sign now I have to say. Now it's all about if uh, we have really a clear channel through uh, towards the sun. And what I'm currently doing here is 
I, I'm taking test shots because I can't also see anything through the viewfinder. So what I did is I, I went to f2.8 and the quite high ISO, the highest one on the Sony a7R4, that's the 100, 2400, something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think that's the highest one. And I, I think with by that I get an exposure time of two to two and a half seconds or so. And this simply allows me to get some test shots just to, I don't look at sharpness, it's not important to get this photograph sharp. These are not photographs, it's just test shots. It's my viewfinder actually, just to, to look down and to, to adjust my composition. I will crop maybe a tiny bit afterwards, so I don't think I will stick to this uh, 2 to 3 format. But anyway, um, I, I try to get lots of uh, sky in, because yeah, the idea is to photograph red sky here. Oh, yeah. oh man, such a gorgeous morning here. I'm really, really happy that I, I got out so early. And I'm really early, so I have time now, I can... Uh, make a break now, I can really get connected with everything. It's, it's really better than just, yeah, you know, rushing out, uh, out of the car, running out uh, up a hill, um, putting the camera uh, and, and, and shooting and, and... Oh man, I think this was a hunter. I'm pretty sure this was a hunter. I hope he doesn't think I'm a row or something like that. <laughs> Rows don't have something like that. Just Rudolph. <laughs> so, however, I would say I will wait here now, adjust a little bit of my uh, composition and fingers crossed for a fantastic red sky. Now it's just a few minutes before we get the fantastic reds up there and they're really fantastic. The clouds moved over from the south towards the north and we get also, I'm not sure if you can see that fantastic patterns here, a little bit of uh, yeah, diagonal here in the clouds in what looks really fantastic, especially back there where we will get uh, the reds at the peak back there. It starts already to get a little bit of, uh, yeah, a little bit of purple back there and orange. It's amazing, we got a fantastic fire sky back there now. The clouds are also fantastic, not all the many clouds here, but it works and we got these amazing reds up there, oranges there, more reds there and so on. I would say, let's make the click. I'm blown away and I've printed it already. Just look at these colors and that mood. It is amazing. It's so pleasing. I'm so in love with this image. It's amazing what the weather god has to offer, isn't it? And you know, my goal was actually to get photos to a level that it is equally good as me with weather prediction. But meanwhile, it is really that it is even better. I got beaten by an AI. And also when it might sound unbelievable, but there will come some new functions soon, which will make it even more better. By the way, this week there is a special offer for your first payment, you get 20% off. I will put you a link down in the description to the photos website. There is no offer code by the way, just register and make your first payment. You will get 20% more credits, yeah, or in other words, your first credits are 20% cheaper. But again, just for one week till the next uh, video will be uploaded. Uh, one trick, by the way, uh, for planning red sky or fire skies, however you want to call them, important is the direction you are photographing to. Actually, we just need to shoot towards the sun, obviously. So what I do is when I know red sky will appear at 618, for instance, I open Google Earth and I click 
on the sun icon. So by that, I see now that the sun will come up here later. But I don't know where below the horizon it is at 618. And that's the problem. At the time when the rats appear, the sun is below the horizon. So the trick is now I simply make it 618 and then I close the sun function. What's happening now is, you saw it already, the sun goes up vertically. So by that I know there in that area will be the most rats because there's the sun. Now friends, I hope you liked this video. If you have shared with your friends, try out photos. I linked it down in the description. And in case you're interested in predicting red sky by yourself by using weather maps instead, watch this video here next. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.